What's going on YouTube? It's Cheap Text Films, your tour guide on the road to elevating your image. And on this channel, I like to highlight my ups and downs so you can capitalize off of my wins and suffer none of my losses. That's something you're interested in. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell so you don't miss any more videos. All right, today we are talking about DaVinci Resolve, man. DaVinci Resolve 17 to be exact. So we're gonna talk about the, the updates. I don't know if DaVinci 17 Resolve just came out or been out, but I just got a notification to update on my system. So uh, I'm running it on the Mac M1 chip, the, the MacBook Air with the M1 chip. And uh, let's see what they got, man, from a music video director's perspective. Like it's a whole bunch of stuff like it's a, if you read through the site, it's a whole bunch of updates, but uh, I'm just gonna hit the ones that I think would benefit me. All right, so let's open it up. All right, so I get this pop-up box that says, uh, since I'm running the MacBook Air with the M1 chip, that I should uh, update to 17.1, not just 17. Uh, so that it's not running on Rosetta, it's actually running on a uh, version that's optimized for my system. But uh, we're going to go ahead and rock with 17.0 for right now. And uh, I'll update later to 17.1. Uh, so let's see what they got to offer, man. I wrote some stuff down in my notes. The things that I think would benefit me and you. And... uh. Okay, come on, come on, DaVinci. All right, let's open a new project. All right, I'm gonna dump some footage in here that I have. I'm gonna go to the edit clip, bring this over, dump all of this footage in. Uh, don't change, keep the same frame rate. Ugh. All right, so now that we're here, we're gonna go ahead and we're going to start with syncing. As a music video director, syncing is the biggest thing you're going to need in the editor. And that's the thing that held me up from going to DaVinci Route for a long time is it was hard to sync. I've been manually syncing this whole time. The syncing and the cut page was confusing to me. I couldn't figure it out, couldn't find anything online to help me. So I just been, I thought it was easier just to sync manually. But they say they have auto sync in the edit tab, so let's see what they have to offer on uh, auto sync. All right, so we're gonna bring in this dance video I had just did. Let's bring in the footage first. All right. All right, so we're putting it on different. Put it on different tracks. This is what you usually have to do with Adobe, Final Cut, whatever. So put it on the different tracks. I'm just gonna bring the audio from this over and select it all and let's see what they got, man. Let's see what they do. So, okay, let's right click and see. Uh, what was it? Oh, okay. Auto align clips. And then we're gonna go to based on waveform. Auto align clips based on waveform. And let's see what how, how good they did. It worked like a charm, which, oh my goodness, that right there alone is worth the update. Appreciate you, appreciate you Da Vinci, for finally listening. <laughs> From a music video director's standpoint, we needed a little bit more on syncing audio, man. And to put it in the edit tab was major, man. So let's move on to the next thing. What's the next thing on the list? Okay, preview effects. Let's try that one. Let's see what we got with the preview effects. All right, so um, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try uh, these transitions that I have and see 
if I can view the transitions. Now I have, I think they're in open effects. No, they'll be in <laughs> video transitions. Let's go ahead and these are video transitions that that I downloaded. These are video transitions that I downloaded. So, okay, are we gonna be able to preview? Oh, okay. Wow. So we can actually see what these transitions will look like. If you just drag it along the box, you can see what the transition will look like if you applied it. And that's major, man, because I spend a lot of time going through these effects not knowing what they're going to look like. So that's major. Be able to see what the effect's going to look like if you put it on there. Uh, some of these effects have, like, once you put them on the clip sometimes, you can't even see it then. You got to wait and let it render. Let's, let's do something right quick. I want to show you what I learned on YouTube one day. So uh, if you go down to the wheel to the right, bottom right hand corner and you click you scroll down make sure you're on the, on the master settings scroll down to uh, automatically cast transitions in user mode so if you click on that save and then go to playback and put this down to user mode then when you put an effect on or transition I don't know about an effect but when you put a uh, transition on It'll automatically look. Okay, let's put a cut right here. I'm gonna slide one over and see. Let's cut this. I'm gonna slide this one down. Okay, so we have a transition there. What we just did, it'll automatically render that for you so it'll play smooth in your timeline. Uh, you have to wait. You have to wait till the line turns blue. So there we go. We can view the you can view your transitions. You just have to wait like three seconds till the line turns blue and then you know your your footage won't get hung up on that part on on the transition part anymore. But for these, some of these transitions are, are heavy, and for these to, to preview uh, up here instead of having to drag them down and check them out, that's major, man. So that's another major uh, update. Let's see what's next. All right, this uh, we're gonna go to green screen now. Let's get rid of this. I'm already done with this video. Should be dropping today. So. Uh, if you if you want to see this dance video, go ahead and check out the channel, man. We should be dropping that today. All right, let's go to bringing the media pool. This is a clip of my sister-in-law. <laughs> this is my my go-to uh, green screen footage. So let's go to. I gotta I gotta shoot some more, man. Now that I got the studio. And you pop up the green screen and shoot some more stock uh, green screen footage. But anyway, this is all we have right now. So we're going to rotate this. We're going to rotate it 90 degrees. Let's go ahead and cut that audio. Mute the audio because I don't want to get no strike. Uh, um. All right, so let's go ahead and know, let's zoom out. I'm gonna go ahead and grab uh, background. Let's see, city alley. Let's go to city alley. Let's see what we can find in Google that I can put her in. Let her look dope. Go ahead and drop her in a dark alley. Eh, I don't like that one. I don't like that one either.
All right, let's look dope. Let's go ahead and download this. Close that out. Let's go ahead and go to downloads. Let's drag this in. Put this behind. Let's cut her out. They said it's, it should be in the uh, editor and the inspector. Let me put my glasses on, man. I can't see nothing. Let's go to the inspector. They added a whole bunch of different stuff to the inspector, man. You know, you can, you can do your audio here, which we don't have any. Uh, you can drop some effects, transitions, and images. Okay, what's this? Okay, this is just the uh, file information. All right, let's go back. So let's scroll down. Let's see. Oh, oh, you got to go to Kier. All right. All right, over here, we're going to search for key. Let me see what it's called. 3D Kier. Let's look for 3D Kier. Open effects. All right, so we got 3D Keyer. Let's slide that onto her. And then we're going to go to effects. The effects lit up because we got effects on the timeline now. And let's take the eyedropper and see what it does. Nothing. All right. I think that we got to go down here to uh, Fusion Overlay. What? Smart Reframe. Bye -bye. Key. All right, let me research that. Jesus, what is going on here? Alright, so you have to go to, we got the key here, click on the eyedropper, let's kick up, you have, to, but you have to, down at the bottom, you have to put it on open effects overlay, with this down, with this uh, drop down menu, put it on open, open effects overlay, and then, um, then you can see your, your effects. So we're gonna grab a, some more green, some more green. All right. All right, let's scale her down. 
so she matches the scene. Okay, of course you know you gotta crop that out. Let's see if what we got under cropping. Crop the top. There we go. And now let's go back to effects and see if we can clean up some of this spill. Be ready for some other noise. Do some spill. Let's bring these. Uh, Let's go back down to crop, crop out these uh, these sides. So we got green screen. Um, I'm definitely gonna have to research this a little bit more, play with the uh, the green screen effects, and see how I can do it. I'm used to using After Effects, so um, all of this is helping me not go back there and relapse to After Effects, and that's the key, man. So uh, yeah, it's promising. Let's let's move on to the next thing. We got the green screen 3D here. Um, let's go to transform let's look for transform hold on one second all right so the next thing on the list is transform i want to drag this in and see what we can do with transform all right again we're gonna go to the fix tab we're gonna close the key here open up transform Okay, now that's dope because it's basically like putting it in 3D space. Now let's see if this zoom is different from the regular zoom. Let's go to video, go to this zoom. That's the same thing. About the same thing. It feels a little different though. It really feels like you're in 3D space with this zoom. I don't know, I have to research that. But uh let's see what else we got. Uh we got motion blur in here, which is dope. We got crop in here, edge. Okay, okay. What else we got? All right, transform is pretty dope. Transform is dope. Um, So we get like a little 3D, 3D situation with the transform. That's straight. Uh, I was looking for. Oh, 
Okay, we all right. So the next thing is under the composite tab. No, the next thing is under speed change. Let's go to speed change. We can change the direction. The direction of the clip. Uh, let's change the speed of the clip. Speed. Uh, okay, speed change. That's something that I got to research. We got the freeze frame. I wonder can you keyframe this these speed changes though? That's the only thing. All right. So boom. Now the the last thing we have on the list is smart reframe. If you're doing a lot of social media content for companies, you know they're gonna need stories. They're gonna need. Uh, they're gonna need. Uh, Reels, they're gonna need the regular video, they're gonna need a, a whole bunch of different framings of the same content so they can use it on social media. So, uh, I got this clip right here. Let's delete the green screen stuff. I got this clip, this clip right here. All right, let's make the let's make the timeline. Uh, twelve by twelve hundred by fifteen hundred, which is uh, the equivalent of four by five, which is the longest you can get on Instagram. You know, it's a different aspect ratio, but it it, it calls for your attention it, it, it like it's longer on the timeline so it looks better four by five aspect ratio let's go to smart reframe let's hit auto and see what it does i want to see what it does with the black boxes already on there if it's going to scale it up and keep her in frame i was moving in this shot that's the reason why i picked this i want to see if this smart reframe can keep her in in uh in the shot even though i was moving on a black magic pocket cinema camera you can put up a four by five aspect ratio overlay on the screen so you know you can shoot for four by five and keep her center but i didn't do that for this one so we're gonna see what this looks like all right now we got this we got to zoom in We go to reframe. Let's go to reference point. It's not giving me a reference point. Oh, they go to reference point. You got to click on this box for the reference point. Go to the reference point. Select her. A reframe. Let's see what it does now. Yeah, that's a game changer. It's keeping her in the middle of the frame. Oh yeah, that's definitely that's that's definitely a game changer right there. If you uh, create content for for people that need multiple different frame frame rate aspect ratios, if if they need multiple different aspect ratios, you got them covered with the reframe. So, man, I can shoot a whole music video and uh, go through there and, and use that and reframe it for. Four by five aspect ratio, which is different. Nobody's doing that, so 
All right, so that was five major updates for Resolve 17 from a music video director's standpoint. That's what, this is what I found that's important to me. These are five major things that's, that's on the edit page though. They updated so much stuff to the color, the cut page, to audio. They update stuff all over the place, but this is five updates to the edit tab that I, I thought was useful to me and my subscribers, man. So if, if you found this video useful, if you're using Resolve, you just bought your Black Magic Pocket Cinema Camera and you're using Resolve, and this was useful, man, make sure you subscribe to the channel, man. And click that notification bell so you don't miss any more videos. I'm out. But y'all, y'all keep them cameras rolling, man.